the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Shooting. And suspense. No more firing, sound recall. There's nobody left to recall. The whole detail's been wiped out. Even the bugler is just a kid. Report to the Major. He'll march up here with a full troop. We'll wipe out those savages to the last man. Hope he never gave us trouble before. Well, they gave us some now. We lost more than a herd of horses, Stan. We lost six troopers. Ride to Fort Banning. Yo! Where'd you fellas come from? It was head of a Duke Martin's ranch, and we seen this redskin here riding his cavalry horse. And we heard shots further up the canyon. Who shot the engine? We did. Like I told Steve here, what's an Indian doing with an army branded horse in a McClellan saddle? I hollered at him, but he wouldn't stop, so we shot him. He's a Hopi. We do right, Sergeant? You did fine. I wish you'd have been here an hour ago. Maybe he can tell us what Hopi warrior led that raid. I'm afraid not, Sergeant. We shot him pretty dead. Ah, uh, there's still a spark of life. Let's get him to a doctor. Come on. If that redskin lives long enough to talk, we're in trouble. You fellas ride out front. Show me the shortest trail to town. History lesson today, we'll discuss the Hopi Indians. Have you ever seen them do the snake dances? Do they really put live snakes in their mouths? Yes, Tag, but it's a religious ceremony. A prayer to the gods for rain. You know, they're an agricultural tribe. The men till the soil, and the women are expert at weaving baskets and making pottery. And they... Who's in command around here? My Uncle Luke's the sheriff. Uncle Luke's away this week. Well, who's in charge when the sheriff's not here? His deputy, Lofty Craig. Lofty's out of town, too. Well, who's in charge when he's not here? Well, I guess I am. Hmm. I suppose when the blonde's out of town, the officer's run by this kid here. Who runs the place when you're not here, the Easter Bunny? Annie, it's Lolomai. Put him right in there, Doctor, and use one of those cots.
The jail cell's too good for him. He ought to be lynched. What are you talking about? Ask him. That engine and his warriors ambushed a cavalry detail. Well, you must be mistaken. The Hopis are a peaceful tribe. Oh, are they? Well, the Hopis just killed six good troopers out in Dead Man's Canyon. Well, why would the Hopis make such an unwarranted attack? Because I was taking a herd of horses to Fort Banning, and they wanted the horses. I just sold a herd of horses to the Army. My partner Cliff Dodge and I. That's the herd, Mr. Martin. Those Redskins got away with every last horse. Looks like you and your partner will get a chance to sell us another herd. Sergeant, I can play every bugle call in the cavalry, from Reveille to Taps. How old does a fella have to be before he can enlist as a bugler? Don't enlist, son. Not in the cavalry. I just had to bury my bugle boy. Me? Please don't let him exert himself too much. Sergeant, the lone I can hardly speak above a whisper. But he said the Hopis weren't anywhere near that canyon today. That he was riding out there alone and heard the shots, but he didn't have anything to do with it. He's a liar. These men caught him riding a horse that belonged to Trooper Davis. Ask him where he got the horse. The lone I. Tell me about the horse. If. He says they gave it to him. <laughs> Where would Steve and me get a cavalry horse? And why would we give it to the Hopi? Lilonai, why did they give you the horse? Give Hopi. Give me He says they gave him the horse as a gift from the white men of the Hopis. And as soon as he got on the horse, they shot him. No Redskin's gonna make any accusation like that against me. What's the matter with you, Dodge? This Indian's in the doctor's care, and he's also in mine. So don't either of you guys try anything like that again. They won't, Miss Oakley. Get out, both of you. Sergeant. I know Dr. Sharp will do everything that he can to save Lomai's life. Can I count on you to guard his life? He's gonna need a lot of guarding. When word gets around what those engines did to that cavalry squad, there's a lot of civilians gonna want to take them out and string him up. That's just what I mean. So can I count on you? Well, I don't like the idea of guarding, but I will. Thanks, Sergeant. I'll ride out to the Hopi village and see what Chief Benito knows about this. Sis! He says I'm going with you. No, Tag, you stay here. Why? If the Hopis are as peaceful as you say they are, why would they hurt me? Oh, so the pupil is putting the teacher in the corner now, huh? <laughs> All right, smart Alec. <laughs> Where'd the kid go? Rode up the other rim. What for? How do I know? I think I found something. A lot of horse tracks where the Indians hid to ambush the soldiers. Annie, can a box fence remember what kind of shoes he put on a horse? Well, he might. Why? Then if we can find the blacksmith who shod the horses, he can tell us what tribe they were. There's only one thing wrong with your reasoning, Tag. Indians don't use blacksmiths. Then who shoes their horses? Nobody. The horses don't wear shoes. But the horses, they all wore iron shoes. I even found one. Say, does that look like a horseshoe? Yes, with leather on it. Like the one missing from your nag. It's a corrective shoe for a horse with a hoof injury. Come on, Tag. We won't need to see Chief Benito now. She starts showing that around to the blacksmiths. Ambushers don't get you, I will. I'll give you the whip and your life.
Sounds like an army bugle. Yeah, and they're blowing charge. Let's get out of here. How am I doing, sis? <laughs> Ty Goakley, you're a trooper. In fact, you're more than a trooper. You're a whole regiment. <laughs> Ranch for me. About 24 hours a day. What's new, Duke? The Indian's still in jail? And still alive. Still claims you and Brand are shot him. Well, what would you do if you saw a redskin riding an army horse? He still claims you and Steve gave him the horse. So he's still a liar. Look, Dodge, you and me made a deal when we went into partnership to play square. Well, haven't we? I don't know. How about you, I mean? I've built up a pretty good horse business for you. The cavalry in town yet? What cavalry? From Fort Banning to attack the Hopi village. They can't get here till late tomorrow night. It's a long ride. Well, then how come I heard a bugle up in Dead Man's Canyon this afternoon? What were you doing there? Just riding through. If you ever put me into a pocket, I'll cut you in half. At close range with a Colt 44. You don't scare me a bit, Duke. You used to be a soldier, but you're not a soldier now. And I'm not in your army. You used to be yellow when you were in the army, Sergeant Martin. I think that you're still yellow. Come on, Jack. Let's have another deal with the cards for an ex-sergeant of the cavalry. Yellow X Sergeant. The Indians gonna live? Unless we see they don't. She might be looking for a man with a clipped wing. Or a blacksmith. Stable the horses tag. All right, Annie. How is he? Oh, Doc says he'll be all right. Somebody don't lynch him. Well, you're not going to let him. No, it's still my duty to protect the heathen, unfortunately. Oh, here's a telegram from the sheriff. He can't be here. He's going to be delayed, but he's sending Lofty Craig. Is Lofty a male or female deputy? He's a male. About the size of your kid brother? No, smaller. He's the Easter Bunny, only six feet four. <laughs> Well, here's another one for you to put away, Tag. It's sure time you got back, Lofty. Boy, will Annie be glad to see you. She will, huh? Uh, did she say that? You bet she did. Exactly what did your sister say about Uh, let me see now. Her exact words now. She said, if that Lofty Craig doesn't come back soon... Yeah, yeah, go on. Sheriff Luke ought to hire himself another deputy, she said. That lofty Craig, he's wasting the taxpayer's money. That's what she said. As soon as I finish with this gun, I'll put on some coffee. Would you like a cup, Sergeant? Enough to desert the army. Sergeant, the door. Sergeant, you've been shot. Just my leg. How about you, little Omar? No. Then I did my stinking duty. I'll get...
haven't got time to change the brands on those nags now. As soon as the others get here, we'll drive for the border. Gun belts. Let them drop. Don't try it. He can't get away very far. Neither can you. What you mean? When I'm finished talking, you'll have the whole United States Army after you. To say nothing of the Hopi tribe. Oh, you'll be lucky if the Army gets hold of you first. You can count on them to be nice. They'll hang you. I hate to think what the Indians will do to you. Oh, give us a chance, Duke. One chance. Go find Dodge. Tell him I'll meet him tonight at midnight at the Four Aces. What for? To match guns with him. Tell him I won't talk till we meet. If Dodge beats me, I can't talk. That makes sense, doesn't it? No, it don't make sense. What you want to match guns with him for? You, the yellow ex-sergeant. It's a personal reason, Steve. You just said it. I'd like to ask you. When you saw that herd of horses in the corral this afternoon, did you get close enough to recognize any of the brands? Duke Martin's brand. Well, Sergeant, now you know what really happened. The Loma and the Hopi tribe had nothing to do with that ambush. Yeah, I guess I owe somebody an apology. I'm sorry, Injun. We can't blame Duke Martin either. Well, the Army paid him a fair price for those remounts. He was satisfied with the deal. But his partner wouldn't. He saw a chance to rustle those horses back. Rebrand the herd and sell it over again, on his own. And then blame the whole incident on the Hopi tribe for having all of his riders dressed as Indians. In exactly one hour at the Four Aces, Duke Martin gives Cliff Dodge a chance to kill him. I'm going with you, Lofty. Thanks, Annie. But they wouldn't got you past the door. No ladies ever get into the Four Aces. But it won't be a fair fight. It can't be. With Dodge and Brander and all of the men that work for him, they've got to kill Martine. It's their only chance. That's why I'll be there. Well, Lofty, you're not going alone. You don't have to go alone, ma'am. I've got a score to settle myself. Five troopers and a bugle boy. The loan may go, too. For peace between Hopi and white men. You both stay here. Doc says you need a week's rest in bed. Don't let him out of here, Annie. Wait till the army hears about this. You got no right to hold me in this jail. Oh, you're not in jail. You're in a hospital with bars on it. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's the idea? Well, they won't allow ladies in the four aces, but they will let a soldier in. Thanks for the loan of the uniform, Sergeant. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. You're a civilian. If the Army catches you in that uniform, it's a federal offense. And if they catch you without this uniform on, Sergeant, it's a court-martial offense. Cavalry on a con, I'm a kid. What do you let my sister in? 
She's a girl. Well, if she don't scare the Indians back on the reservation, nobody can. Well, I'll say. No remarks from you, O'Hara. Let's have a little dignity on this post. Get out yourself. After all, you're only a local deputy sheriff. You can't give orders to the United States Cavalry. There's only two of you. I expected more. Looks like a clean wound, Mr. Martin. Small enough price to pay. As long as I got Cliff Dodge. All right, I'll take it. Why did you want to get him all by yourself? Personal reason. I was in the cavalry myself once. General Custer at the little bighorn. Got scared, ran out, deserted. For years, I've I wanted a chance to make up for it. Facing that cavalry killer doesn't really make up for it. But it helps. It helps a lot, Mr. Martin. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be in the same cell with an engine. How? Take hold me. Report for Sergeant O'Hara. Holy smoke, what are you in jail for? For being wounded. What's the report? The Major's on his way, and with a full troop to wipe those engines. Clean out the map, Sarge. Right back. Tell the Major there's no war with the Hopis. You heard the order, Corporal. Start riding. All right to the Major, Annie. Something bothering you, Corporal? You, ma'am. Uh, Sergeant. Any questions, Corporal? Just one. Sergeant, ma'am, where are you stationed? I want to put in a transfer. Hey, 